Okay, this video is going to show you how to do, well, play audio. Now, you've got to load your audio. You've already got a couple um, set up. If you look at Solution Explorer in your template, you should have a click and a shoot sound effect. Now, we need to load these into the game engine before we can actually play them. Um, the easiest way of finding the code for that is to go to Class View. Now, if Class View isn't open for you, Go to view, class view. Okay, select it. Now, when you open your project the first time, it'll look like this. So just click the little arrow next to code and select game one. That'll list all your subroutines. Now, the one we're looking for is in alphabetical order. The pink ones are the subroutines. Is start preloader. So if we double click that, It'll take us to the code, and this is where we get the graphics and audio loaded in the background. So the two sound effects, click and shoot, we loaded with these two lines. Okay. Now when we loaded the shoot one, we decided that we were going to call it shoot. So if we want to refer to that sound effect, we use shoot as the reference and click for the click sound. Okay, so what we're going to do is when we press a key, um, we're going to play one of those sounds. Now to do that we're going to need to go into the input code. So open input.cs from Solution Explorer. And If you scroll down in there you should see that you've got at least this escape key code in there. You might have some more depending on what else you put in there. So in this bit that says case title, so these are the key checking for title mode. I'm just going to put another if in here. I'm going to say if input manager dot key pressed <clears throat> and if you want to do um, Xbox stuff all you've got to do instead of key is you put button pressed I'll show you that in a sec let me just put this one in key pressed keys dot and I'm going to use space for this okay so if that's true open brace close brace we're going to do this bit of code so we're going to say audio manager dot play effect and its name what we gave it when we loaded it was shoot that is not the same as the file name that is the name we gave it there so that's what I called it when I loaded that sound effect okay and if we run that <coughs> and when I press the space bar it should make the sound effect Okay, so I'm pressing the space bar and it's making that sound effect. The other thing you might want to do with an effect is play them more than once. And in order to do that, we need to use the managed effect. So we're going to say play managed effect. Now it'll ask for an instance name, which is because you can play sound effects more than once, once you start messing about with them um, multiple times we have to give them a name but I don't care at this point so I'm just going to say nothing it doesn't matter what I put for that first bit the next bit is the name of that sound effect so I'm going to say shoot right and then we want to say how many times do we want it to play now if you look at the text that I've included in the engine it says sets loop count of a value of minus one means loop forever Not means play once so if I put minus one run it again, when I press space it should just keep repeating itself so let's see that work, so space okay, not many, unless you've got a piece of music that you've loaded as a sound effect playing it forever is a bit daft so let's just put one that should play two times so let's just check once it gets running so play press space play twice if I want it to just play once using this system I put no like it said in the bit of text so that that's exactly what play effect does it does that exact same thing okay and that's it there isn't much more to audio 